Good afternoon, I'm Chandler Smith. I'm one of the techs here at CNR Auto and Trailer Sales. And today we're going to walk you through one of our new Raptor Carbon Series 29 WFO and check out what we've done to this stuff. It's amazing. So first of all, over here in this front compartment, and this used to be a pass-through storage. We kind of converted this trailer into a mobile office more than a camp trailer. We have these four lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries, of course, being a better technology than the lead acid or the AGMs or some of the other batteries most people are used to seeing inside of RVs. These are kind of the same along the same technologies as like electric cars, smartphones, power drills, Milwaukee, DeWalt, stuff like that. Use lithium-ion technology inside of it. They kind of look kind of cool with the spaceship looking thing. These are heaters on it to keep the batteries at the right temperature. So in cold weather, like it is right now, those will charge and discharge all the way properly. We come up here in the front and where the batteries usually are, we installed a generator. We took the propane cylinders off the front and instead we added three permanently mounted tanks to, for the RVs to, for the, to supply the propane to the RV. So you got the generator in the front that's ran off of these propane cylinders. These propane cylinders also will then power things like the furnace and the water heater like normal. And then inside this compartment, it's kind of a little bit of a fun compartment for electrical stuff. Up here, this first thing up here is the solar controller. Now these uh, Raptor Carbon Series from the factory do have 200 watts of solar, but when we're trying to make this into a mobile office, we took off the factory 200 watt solar panel and we put 990 watts of solar. A very significant difference. These things will charge the batteries way faster. You can power more things with that. The other thing inside this compartment is this 2000 watt inverter that runs off those lithium ion batteries. Now this is an inverter slash charger. So it will take power from the shore cord if you're plugged in and charge the batteries. But then when you're not plugged in, you can turn this thing on and you can run all the outlets in the RV, the microwave, everything. And because of the powerful solar, you could have many people take breaks inside of this thing all day long running that microwave multiple times and the solar is going to keep up you're going to keep charge it's really cool off-grid stuff inside of here so then as we come back here into the back of this uh, raptor carbon series it is a toy hauler so you got the rear ramp back there which right now is in the patio format with the table out there so you have lots of people lots of fun or lots of employees out on break and then you can pull in any kind of toys you want you got all the tie downs here in the floor so you can have four wheelers dirt bikes etc and then you got the two bunk beds here in the back, uh, so you can sleep a lot of people. Now, we did, we went ahead and added one of these benches, which usually come in our RPMs from Trails West, because uh, we wanted to have even more seating back here where it is a break room. And then we come over here, where you got all the controls. These are all from the factory. But we went ahead and added the controls on the inside, so you can start up the generator from inside whenever you're wanting to run the AC units. This little controller right here is the inverter. So remember that inverter we were showing you in the front compartment, how it can take the power from the batteries. You can control whether it's on or off. So you can run things like the microwave and all of the outlets just off the batteries and off the solar for many, many hours. Here you just got the fun little bathroom. And then here in the front is also where we kind of had a lot of fun. This was a fun project for us to work on in the shop because this trailer, when it first came from the factory, was like many bumper pull RVs out there that have the master bedroom in the front. So you've had, try to envision this for a minute, you had a queen size bed in here. You had that front was that pass-through storage. Those front compartments where we got the batteries and the inverters, those used to be connected. And so you could put all your, all your gear in the front. You'd have the bed right here, it'd fold up. You have more storage underneath the bed. Very typical layout of a lot of bumper pull RVs and toy haulers. We went ahead and because the, we were wanting to convert this into a break room, we went and ripped out all the bed stuff and we rebuilt these custom cabinets and this custom desk so therefore we can have a, a chair right here so people can work it was a lot of fun to do this it took a couple of hours and a couple of guys on our team to really nail out all of the labor but at cnr if you can envision it and we can envision it we can build it for you so there you have it our new raptor carbon series bumper pull toy haulers this one that we custom made into a break room and thanks for watching guys we hope to see you down here sometime soon here at cnr auto and trailer sales in tremont utah thank you guys